Our development team worked super hard on the turning capabilities inside of Gibbs Cam 13, and honestly, they did an amazing job. They didn't just add like a new process or just some little fix here and there. They actually improved the way Gibbs Cam handles the most complex turning jobs. There are three major applications of this new technology, eccentric turning, elliptical turning, and interpolation turning. I'm going to show you examples of each one here in a second, but I just want to make sure that I point out that all the solutions that I'm about to show you, they're not workarounds or forcing code by tricking your software. All the functionality here is built on our UKM technology, is built right inside of Gibbscam. So let's go ahead and start with eccentric turning. Eccentric turning is actually what you're seeing here. It's when you're turning something that has an axis that's parallel to your main z-axis, but it's off-center. You can see it's kind of whirling up and down off center here. Um, all you have to do to really define, um, to machine this is just define a new coordinate system for that feature and then use that coordinate system to define uh, the toolpath. It's really that easy. It's just like a regular turning operation except you're just changing the coordinate system. It's really easy, really straightforward, nothing really new to learn. So now I'm gonna move on to interpolation turning. Interpolation turning is just a fancy term for what you see here. Let me zoom in so we can see this just a little bit better. So it's a, it's a tool path where the turning tool stays normal to the cutting surface. This could be used for either cutting like IDs, like really accurate uh, inside diameters, or ODs like you're seeing here. So there's tons of applications for this. You know, if you'd like to perform a turning op on your mill to decrease setups, that's one. Uh, creating round features that have an undercut or a taper like you're seeing here without the need for a custom cutter or an angle cutter or something weird like that. And also to be hypnotized by the tool turning around and around, which um, absolutely happens. So programming this type of turning is super easy. You just have to create a turning op in your milling cycle or your milling on your milling machine. Now, just note, please, that your your machine needs to be able to handle an operation like this. You know, it needs to have uh, indexability, I guess is a word, on the head. Uh, there's a couple other things that need to happen. Uh, there's a small post change that needs to happen to activate this on your machine. Um, this isn't a magical turn my mill into a lathe process that works on every machine. Unfortunately not. Your machine has to be able to do this. If you have any questions about the capabilities or changes that need to be made to have your mill do this, just reach out to your reseller or give us a call. Uh, we'd be more than happy to help you out. So last but not least, let me open up elliptical turning here. Elliptical turning is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's what you see here. It's basically the ability to turn non-round shapes. So we actually added a specific process for this called elliptical contour. It's just like a regular turning op. You can see all the settings here. The only, the biggest difference, I should say the only difference, the biggest difference is you actually select surfaces or solids that you want to cut, not line geometry like our other operations. So this functionality is coded right inside to Gibbs Cam. There's no messing around with like kludge together solutions and, oh, wait, I'm going to take a milling op and try and make it a turning op or vice versa to try and trick this. You just pick the process. You pick the surfaces, you set the parameters, and you're off to the races. Let me show you a live example of cutting like this. Uh, let me pull it up really quick. Here's a great example of it on a live machine. This was actually done uh, by our software team in Germany, so thank you, Frank Bauer, for sending this over. If you wanna see the complete uh, cutting video of this and the finished part, just jump onto our website www.3dsystems.com and just go ahead and look for the video section. So that's about it for today. If you have any questions about new functionality, any new functionality in Gibbscam 13 or how to utilize your machines a little bit better, please feel free to reach out to your local reseller or give Gibbscam technical support a call. Thank you so much.